We want to jump right in to bring on Christine, our senior GIS researcher, who alerted me, um, perhaps, I don't know, it's possible that Travis behind the scenes just is cooking something up to try to get me ranting, but uh, we'll start with maybe Christine ranting about something here. Uh, thanks, Chris. Um... So, That's a great uh, intro that you just gave, Christine. By the way, just Thank open you, ended. Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No question. I was. <laughs> Christine does not need an intro. Christine knows better than I do what she's about to talk about. And Christine just gave like three presentations in like four days in Texas. And so, as far as I'm concerned, you're a pro. And now is a chance to just sort of start giving you those curveballs to see how you do. <laughs> mm, try a little Chris Mitchell winging it. <laughs> Um, so Chris brought me on today to talk about, um, a problem with accessing the API, um, on the national broadband map, um, interface and, and the API is the, an application programming interface. So essentially it is uh, a way to communicate with, um, between two applications. So like when you go to the, the. Uh, broadband map and you enter in a, an address, um, it is sending a request to the broadband maps API and then it gives you information back. Um, and I'm sure many people have noticed when you click around too frequently in that location level map or you put in too many addresses, it will lock you out. Um, and so that is a rate limiting effect on, on the map itself, on the whole website really. Um, and my understanding is that is in place um, due to firewall protections um, that the FCC has um, implemented and it's intended to protect the fabric and limit web scraping. Um, but it's also ultimately making it very hard for people like me and others to um, access the bulk data set. Um, so they do have a data download page where you can painfully download every single of the like 200 plus um, spreadsheets that they have broken up the new data set into. Um, not many people want to do that. So there are folks that are very smart and have set up different kinds of code to be able to automate that process. Um, and But we're running into the same issue at times with this rate limiting and it's just sending back errors. Um, there are ways to navigate around it, but the ultimately the problem is why do we have to do this? Like we, we shouldn't have to be making these specific scripts and code to be able to access a publicly, a public data set. Um, it should not be that hard. And so that is my rant. <laughs> Excellent. Go ahead, Travis. You know, we all know what the obvious answer is, don't we? <laughs> 75 million more will get us a unlimited API. So, Chris, go ahead I, and call up the FCC I, and get that checked out. I was thinking that you were going to just say that you were going to, like, go up into Washington and fix it, Travis. I mean, come on. Oh, I, you know, I want to thank, thank Christine because I... I'm actually, I didn't know we were still doing this map thing. I figured that'd be over by now, but they're, um... I mean, that's my job. So well, no, it's going to continue. It's, it's so <laughs> underfunded, Christine. I mean, how can we expect? I wish I they know. hadn't cheaped out on it. I know they did. Yeah. They, they bought the budget version and now we don't have an unlocked API, but I commend you for hard work. Yeah. So. But it is massively annoying because regular people go on and they go, let me see what's around my neighborhood. And if you start doing that, it locks you up. I mean, mm -hmm. you can't even just, look at it and you should be able to look at it all day long. It's a public database. So, okay. No. We've talked on this show many of times that we don't trust the data on this lovely mapping system, right? So why do we care to look at it? That's because you want to see what's, you want to, you want to see what's claimed. Cause, that, <laughs> that, Cause that's how you get Chris Durant. Cause I think he's going to even talk about his well, latest step. FCC so challenge. I do want to say we're going to talk about mapping for a few more minutes. We're going to talk a lot more about uh, Matt Larson is a runs a wireless ISP. I didn't give people a little roadmap of where we're going to be going, but we'll be talking about that some. We'll be doing a little update to talk about the supply chain and maybe a few other stories. So we have um, several things that we're coming to for people who are sitting there being like mapping again. Okay. Um, that said, the uh, it is this is. It's very frustrating. Um, and I think Kim asked a really great question. Like if we all think the map isn't doesn't have good data, why are we going at it? And the answer is because it is the official data that we have to use to some extent. And so um, I find it frustrating. I would hope that the FCC would have an approach that would allow researchers uh, to do it. Uh, if re or at the very least, when researchers find a way to make it work, they not um, circumvent it or come after them to try to shut down those efforts, which I think 
could be something that we see depending on different solutions that we come up with. Um, Christine, while you're here, I did want to ask you, um, I, um, I had just checked in cause I realized it had been a long time. I had submitted my complaint to the FCC, um, a little bit, um, more than three months ago or right around, I'm sorry, a little bit less than three months ago. And I just happened to check in on it cause I hadn't ever gotten anything back from the FCC and it says upheld. Um, mm -hmm. um, but the map still shows that my, me and my neighbors can get a gigabit symmetrical wireless download and upload from this provider next Terra that lies about it. And then I went back and forth with them. We talked about that on a previous show from your understanding, doesn't the up being it upheld means that there's a 30 day window in which they're supposed to fix it. Um, and I didn't warn you to re remind yourself yeah. of the rules. I thought maybe it'd be on the top of your head. Um, can, those rules answer, are no yeah. longer at the top of my head. Um, the answer is yes, it's 30 days. So they okay. might still be under their 30 days, but they're only going to fix you, not your neighbors. Well, that's the thing, right? Is I'm trying to keep this documented, um, because it's so this, I just, I, I was at National Tribal Telecom and FCC was on the stage and and I just felt like the undercurrent of what they were saying was, isn't it great that we're letting you fix the map? And I'm just like, no, for for all the money that that you spent on it, like for the love of God, we shouldn't be spending the, all the hours, the tens of thousands of hours that people don't have who are putting into this um, to get slightly less crummy data. I This is a fiasco and I just... It it, I like the idea behind it if it weren't already so rough to begin with. Um, I, I will add, though, regarding this API thing, I did um, contact the BDC help desk and they said they are working on the API for researchers and it will be out sometime in the future. Okay. I'm glad it will be in the future because it was a different time that would be puzzling. Right. <laughs> well, that'll, I'm, that'll, I'm, that'll probably be 25 after they get a couple of like, 50, more, that's, 50 more million, right, Travis? So. Yeah, th that's a very good marketing answer coming from a marketer. We'll get it to you at right. some point. <laughs> but not tomorrow or maybe My, not in yeah. a week. My They're very good at those statements. <laughs> yeah. I was just reminded of one of my favorite all-time answers from customer service that my mom dealt with years ago when the Frontier phone line went down uh, in their neighborhood. And she called in right around Christmas time. And Frontier's answer was, don't worry, your neighbors are all out too. <laughs> 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 it's not just you. You're not alone. <laughs> So, Christine, thank you for raising that. Um, once again, another, I think, frustrating piece of this and the continued lowering of expectations around what we should expect. Um, you know, some government agencies work so well, we don't even know what they do. And then there's other ones where I just feel like it's um, it's quite embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs>